guest as an expert in heating and air, but he's also an accomplished author. Joining me now is Rick Busby from Busby's Heating and Air. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me. Listen, you stay busy, don't you? I try to. Yeah. How's your little one, by the way? He is six months old, my grandson. Your grandson, Let's that's right. That. <laughs> right. And uh, doing excellent. That is amazing. Well, listen, okay, so I have to talk about your book. Um, it is called Simple Habits That Will Change Your Life. Talk to me first about the background and how you got inspired to start writing because it runs in the family, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Uh, my grandmother was a, a poet and, uh, and so was my mother. And so my mother uh, printed and published my grandmother's book and uh, myself and my siblings printed and published my mother's book. And actually, this book came about um, after my parents had passed away. I was sitting on my front porch just thinking about all of the things that they had taught me. Mm -hmm. And um, in probably five minutes, I wrote down 40 things. Wow, that's incredible. As I tell uh, most folks, the book came through me. It didn't mm -hmm. come from me. Mm -hmm. and, and then it took me a while to uh, expand on those 40 topics. Mm -hmm. uh, and it took some prodding from my wonderful wife to get me to finally publish to the book. Yes. Yeah, well, it, it's amazing, and I, I've been able to read through it and look at some of the simple habits that you say will help us in life. But I do have to show off that these are actually the books that your mom and grandma wrote right here, and then this is yours, so kind of a generational thing. But let me, t let me read something from this book, because I love it. You say it's a book of habits. Life is all about habits. You say good habits are hard to form and easy to live with while bad habits are easy to form and hard, did I read that right? And hard to live with. Tell me about that. What is your advice for people that are trying to recreate new habits? My advice would be to pick one thing that you want to change or want to do and uh, take a three by five card, put it on your bathroom mirror, put it on the dash of your car, mm -hmm. practice that one habit for at least 30 days or more until it becomes automatic. And, and it will become automatic over time. And then after that becomes automatic, then pick another and, and begin to change. So little by little, baby steps really is the, the key to doing this. Well, and listen, it is important that we create those good habits and you could get them yourself. This is a head start for you to, to take into your life and apply them. So I love it. I love what you do here. Now, um, let's talk about Busby's Heating and Air, because you are um, doing a lot of neat things. You have a magazine that you also publish on your website as well that is helpful, a helpful tool for people out there. But now that we're going into a new season, does that affect our heating and air at home? It's a real good idea before the season changes to have your system inspected and okay. checked uh, and maintained because a lot of things can change throughout the six months of summer mm -hmm. that affect your heater. And so really you can go to busbys.com to find their information and really quickly, how can we get this book if we want it? The book is available through our office if you call or you can go to Busby Books, B-U-Z-Z-B-E-E books.com and that's my website. You can purchase it there through PayPal uh, and it will be shipped from my office immediately. Well, thank you so much. This is going to be so helpful for you guys, so get your hands on that. Thank you so much, Rick, for being here. Do not go anywhere when we come back. We have Fun Fact Friday.